been uh, I'm, I'm lost for words. I mean, she was a mother for all. Someone who was very welcoming into the house. But she was very tough. You know, and uh, especially those of us who were very young in the early 90s, always rushing through the house. Well, that was the time of increased political activity. A disciplinarian, um, but a fantastic mother. And I'll, I'll, I'll never forget, especially exactly 20 years to the day she passed, 1st October 2003. We were in Tokyo with President Kufo for TCAD, the Tokyo International Conference for African Development. Something very interesting happened. And I remember the happiness in her eyes. But the details I can't tell you. You may have to ask the president. <laughs> it was her birthday, and President Kufo surprised her um, with a small game. And she teased him and said, Ah, you are shanty men, you are not romantic. <laughs> you know, um, he was a lovely person, very disciplined. But I didn't like the, the glare of media publicity. And I had a tough time as press secretary because he always tell me, tell the cameraman not to put the camera on me. I don't like that. But it was difficult. Why do you think that was? Why didn't she like... Well, she was, she's she's not, naturally wants to do her things without the glare of publicity. You know, someone who will support people without making it known. That has been, and she's a strong Catholic. And according to a Catholic faith, when you are helping others, only God, the Almighty, should know. Not for public care. So I, I quite remember a number of times she would try and get me to get the press out of her way. You know, she was a very lovely lady and uh, we, we really learned a lot from her humility. She always has a, a word of advice for you as a mother, but very tough and strict. And once she has to put you in your place, you will do it. And uh, I, I enjoyed being in the household in the 90s, well before I became press secretary to the, to the husband when he became president. So it's a very emotional day for me, and uh, we thank God for her life.